Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 18th to the 24th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below, and I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into the safe and loving space. All right, Cancer. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show them clearly. Angels and spirit guides, show them clearly. All right, before we turn everything over, let's, let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free, a free reading, or to be in the running to receive a free reading, there are a few things that you have to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. When you comment, make sure you're commenting with a butterfly so that I know that you would like to be in the running for the reading. And if you don't want to be entered for a reading, then don't put the butterfly, okay? Um, yeah, so hit the bell notification so that you will be notified when the video is uploaded announcing the winner, and that will be on Sunday. All right, so let's see what the tarot, what what spirit has to say, not the tarot, but what spirit has to say, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Here we have two. We have alchemy and we have efficiency reverse. Very interesting. We're not connecting with our magic, with the alchemy of ourselves, of what we desire. You know how alchemy is all about turning like lead into gold, right? And I heard somebody describe alchemy very, very beautifully of turning ourselves into gold, turning ourselves into something very precious, very be beautiful, very powerful. And here we can feel like we're not tapping into that potential. We're not tapping into our energy of transformation, of power, of insight, of understanding. And we can feel a little bit adrift, but we can also feel afraid. Like we know that there's a change on the horizon, Cancer, but it's like, oh no, I, I, I can't step into that. So just be mindful about this during this time that we need to see that we are transforming human beings. Our chakra energy is angels and spirit guides. Show them clearly. Guide this reading and show them clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Here we have flexibility. We can be very rigid in our thoughts, in what we want, in the way that we're dealing with people, like very much my way or the highway type of thing. This is also sacral. This is the sacral chakra, sacral energy. So tapping our tailbone will be very beneficial to us. It will help, you know, break up any blockages we have in our sacral chakra. Also tapping our kidneys to release any anger, frustration that we have in order to embrace the flexibility of our creativity and our spirit self. Our energy to be mindful of is angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. 
is the five of cups reverse. So it can be very easy for us to see the negative, to see the way that things aren't going right or aren't going the way that we wanted them to. There's nothing, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, with being like, oh, okay, I can see where things aren't going right, but not to be able to see the beauty in ourselves and what we want and what we're creating and how we're moving forward. That's going to be detrimental because we feel stuck and we already feel stuck with alchemy reverse, with efficiency reverse, with being able to see ourselves as transforming beautiful beings. So let me just check that everything is in frame. Okay, perfect. All right. So we are crowned here with awakening. We are awakening into ourselves, into a new sense of self, into a new power of self. This is a new dawn. We then have temperance, which is Sagittarius energy coming forward. Time frame is November 22nd to December 21st, we have the High Priestess reversed. We have the Seven of Swords and we have the Eight of Swords reversed, which is, well, we have the Seven of Swords in the upright position and then the Eight of Swords reversed. So there are lies that are coming forward. We need to get out of our own head. There's a deception here. It's around somebody who pretends to be very spiritual or pretends to be very kind, very connected and isn't. You're going to learn that about this person during this week and you're going to see that you find your balance you find yourself because it's like oh this person doesn't have all the answers it's like oh wow that's wild it's, it's going to be wild we then have the three of swords reversed the three of pentacles reversed the muse of cups, which is the Knight of Cups. We have Justice, which is Libra Energy, time frame September 20, 23rd to October 22nd. No, yeah, to October 22nd. We have the Ace of Cups reversed. No, we have the Ace of, is it reversed? Yes, it is. We have the Ace of Cups reversed and we have the empress reverse so it's very interesting here is that we have the high priestess and we have the empress reverse meaning that there's a blockage around us with our connection of sacred feminine energy so being mindful about this especially since we're ruled by the moon the moon is a feminine energy source so being aware of stagnation around our our sacred feminine energy around our connection with our creativity with our seeing beyond the veil of this existence that is going to be a very important thing to be aware of and to see for ourselves yeah we are awakening into something bigger than what we thought we could be but we are also finding that as we are awakening we're seeing things more clearly we're seeing things more openly we're seeing things more honestly but it kind of makes us sad because it's like, oh, wow, that was a lie that I believed for so long. Like, wow, that person lied to me or that situation was a lie or I didn't think highly of myself and that was a lie. Look at everything that I can accomplish. And then we're going to fall down this rabbit hole of, well, I could have done this earlier. I could have been this. I could have been a contender, you know, type of thing. You don't know. You can only live where you are right now. Live with no regrets. And I know that that sounds so easy, but it is one of the hardest things to do. Say to yourself, whatever decision I make, it is the right decision. Because we can hypothesize that, oh, that would have been better over there, or I could have won that if I did this, or I could have done that if I did that, but that could have been another person's fate, but it wasn't ours. So being aware of this is going to be super, super important, and it's going to help us come into balance with ourselves, but then it's also going to help us see. We're having a spiritual awakening and we're a bit overwhelmed by it, Cancer. We're like, oh no, pulling that veil back down. Oh no, I can't see all that. Oh no, it can't be like that. Oh no, this is overwhelming. So just being aware is going to be super important. We're getting out of our own head, which is helping us get out of our own way. And with the Eight of Swords reverse, we kind of got trapped. It's like a hamster wheel, overthinking, overanalyzing, overthinking, overanalyzing, getting into our body. You know, even if it's just visualization, if we are, we're not physically able to move, in a way that gets us, you know, out of our own thoughts, visualizing to get us out of our own, our own thoughts. It, it, it sounds funny to change one set of thoughts for another, but we are getting ourselves out of chaos and into power of self. And that is going to be very, very, very important. We are going to see that there was a like exchange, you know, an exchange of, of knowledge, an exchange of understanding that isn't going to necessarily come during this time. And that's going to be disappointing to us. It's also going to open up old wounds of where we were, you know, 
let down, where we were like abandoned, disappointed, overwhelmed in the past. And we have to realize during this time, like the past was the past. I am moving forward in the power of the present with the King of Cups here. The power of the present is, is so beautiful for us to grasp. And it's us. We're coming through as a king. We're represented by the cups in the minor arcana. And we start to live in the power of ourselves. It's like, I will tell the truth and live in my power. It's like, and you don't have to sit there and like, it's not like the world is our confessional, but it is saying the truth to ourselves and saying, this is what I want. This is what I'm moving forward towards. This is where I desire to be. And I am going to be just and fair to myself. It's interesting that we have the two justice cards, like not justice, but to do with the law. Temperance is about the truth. Okay. Justice is about the law. So just being aware of that during this time, truth around the law is going to be important, but we can also call out lies and things that we're supposed to have our best interests at heart, or we thought we could, you know, take solace in. So being aware of that too is going to be interesting. It's not necessarily going to be something we want to be aware of. This is going to be a time as well where we're going to think, oh, I can kind of bounce ideas over these people. Oh, I can work with these people. Oh, these people, you know, have the same interests as I do. It's not necessarily going to work out that way. Lead by example, because somebody else is going to want to take power. It's going to want to take control. They're going to run it into the ground. So just being aware of that, you know, you can walk away and say, fine, you know, that's your thing. I'm going to do mine. I'm going to do it this way. That will also be very important for you. With the Ace of Cups reverse, God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe is handing you a gift of healing, of love, of compassion, of power. We're getting this gift, right? We're taking this gift. We're not realizing we're taking it. We're not realizing the full potential of it. So this will come later on. So just being aware of this. We are needing to nurture ourselves. We are needing to see our creativity, see our inspiration. But there's something here that makes us think, oh, I can't do that. Like, I can't do that. I'm, I'm going to be unable to. Like, just this real sense of everybody else is able to, but I'm not going to be able to. And Spirit's like, why? Because in our mind's eye right now, I'm just seeing like we've already failed, but we haven't even tried. And Spirit's like, what the heck is that? And even if you do fail the way you thought it was going to be, the way you, you thought it was going to move forward, you know, that's okay. Spirit has their plan for you. And there's always a roundabout way. You're not going to go. This is going to be a time where things are not going to be as straightforward as you would thought them to be, Cancer. And, and that's okay. It's not going to be what we want, sure. But it's going to be okay because we're going to get to a place that was even better than we imagined because it's out of our imagination and into our lived experience. And that's going to be really, really cool. It moves us then to our subconscious spirit message. And here we have renewal reversed. We, we are fighting this transformation for one reason or another. It's like, it's out of fear. For one reason or another, we are afraid. And we are not letting ourselves renew. We're not letting ourselves be reinvigorated, re-embodied, ch changed by our magic. Because it's like, well, what if it's not what I'm supposed to be? Or it, what if it doesn't go according to plan? And Spirit's like, but what if it does? And it moves us then to our chakra message, subconscious, which is grounding. This is the earth star chakra located six inches below our feet. This is embracing our roots, grounding ourselves, stabilizing ourselves, nourishing ourselves, but knowing ourselves. I need to be grounded in this energy. This is really secretly important to me. This I need to let go. I don't care. You know, being open with ourselves. And that's also when the king of cups comes in, being able to say, you know, this touches my heart that I don't care about. I'm not, I'm not going to waste my energy. And we have to say that to ourselves. Like, I don't care. And it's not that we are, you know, monsters for not caring. You, you can't care about absolutely everything. It will, it will eat you up. So saying I don't care, it's like I'm letting that go. You can have a really big opinion about that. I don't, I don't really. And that's okay. It moves us then to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. This is the Prince of Cups. This can, for us, we want to step into the King energy. This is younger energy. This is more immature, more... Um, reactionary energy. Be mindful about it. Be mindful about it before you act, especially when it's out of love. Okay. When you're defending somebody, when it's out of love, take a beat, take a step back, look at it because we can be very reactionary. We can be very quick to judge, you know, fierce. However, we're going to move forward and then it'll make us stumble, right? It'll make us stumble. It will take us out of our King's energy, put us into a, you know, kind of like bucking Bronto energy that we just don't need. So being aware of that is going to be important. And it moves us then to our subconscious spirit message, 
We have the repeat of the number eight. Things are moving very quickly. We are very serious. We have the eight of wands right here. And we're going to see a speed, a power, a tenacity moving us, guiding us, and opening up the doors for us. All right, Cancer. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Cancer, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.